An autopsy report says there's not enough evidence to determine how Taylor Williams died. Her mother, Navy Petty Officer Brianna Williams, reported her missing last November. Six days later, the five-year-old's remains were found. News for Jack supporter Janice Harris has a copy of this autopsy report. And Janice is live at police headquarters. That's where the child's mother is waiting for trial. Janice? Yes, the mother, Mrs. Williams, has been in this jail behind me for about a year waiting to go to trial. This is a part of that autopsy report of her five-year-old daughter. And what we know in this autopsy report is that it says that it was at least several weeks or several months before that child's body was found. Five-year-old Taylor Williams' remains were found in rural Alabama, but we may never know how she died. According to this autopsy report, the medical examiner said her cause of death and manner of death are undetermined. Williams' mother, Brianna Williams, told police her child was missing and probably kidnapped. As JSO investigated further, the child's disappearance turned into a multi-state search, leading to the little girl's remains in a wooded area in Alabama, where her mother's GP had been tracked. Brianna Williams, a petty officer at Naval Air Station Jacksonville, sits in jail accused of aggravated child abuse, two counts of child neglect, false information, and tampering with evidence. Williams is not accused of causing the death of the child. Local attorney Randy Reap, not affiliated with the case, says proving what happened to the child would be difficult. With child abuse, you got to prove the elements of the abuse, and the, the autopsy doesn't really speak to that. The medical examiner, frankly, probably didn't have enough to work with to determine that there was abuse suffered on the child. So that by itself probably isn't going to be the most beneficial evidence to the state. Found with remains was a plastic trash bag, a shower curtain, and a child-sized BU shirt. The medical examiner said there was suspicion for neglect or severe illness, but no other evidence to support. We may never know how the child died. And the autopsy also said the decomposed remains were, quote, suspicious for homicide, but there is, quote, no definitive evidence of violence to the recovered bones to come to a conclusion. Also, Williams will have another pretrial coming up at the beginning of the year on January 5th. Like other cases due to the pandemic, it's been bogged down trying to get those involved with this case. Key witnesses have only just been sent subpoenas for their depositions. Reporting live from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.